August 22, Saturday, Memorial of the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord The Handmaid of the Lord Mary is honored today as queen, not according to worldly standards. She has no pelf or fiefdom to boast of. Her only treasure is her son, Jesus. Her biggest accomplishment does not result from her intelligence or smart moves, but from her fidelity to God's plan. Her fiat becomes a strong and steady life project, not a short-lived feeling of excitement. The maiden from Nazareth does not pretend to understand everything that the angel Gabriel has told her. In fact, Mary's let it be suddenly puts her in deep trouble. To be found pregnant at a time when she has not yet lived with Joseph will cast aspersions on her who may be meted with death by stoning. But Mary puts herself at God's disposal and refers to herself as God's maid servant. In Mary we find a queen who calls herself a servant. God has brought her to a glorious throne in heaven, but she continues to walk with us in this valley of tears. She encourages us to ponder God's words, to keep entrusting our lives to the Father, and to bring Jesus to others.